All right, guys, welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. We're still here in the Distortion World, where we've got a swiggly or swirly background or something. And here's Cynthia, who tells you that the Distortion World is a giant puzzle. Though I really didn't know that. Of course not. So, last episode, we helped out Yuxi. Oh, that was a squeak. I hate this. I'm getting so many squeaks nowadays. Yeah, last episode, we helped out Yuxi. This episode, we're going to help out the other two lake thingies. Azolf and Mesprit. And let's start off with Mesprit, because he's the closest by. He's actually down over here. There he is, Mesprit, the being of emotion. He's all pink and stuff. Yeah. So, this episode could be a little annoying. Mostly because, well... It involves a lot of rock pushing and um, wall and roof scaling. Yeah, we might even get on the roof this episode. So, you just basically use strength on the rock and push it in the hole. Just like that other rock that we pushed in hole. Yeah. Push it down, and now you have to go all the way around. So, you go over here and basically do a big loop around the distortion world once again. Go up here. And this takes you all the way back up. Right there. Now you hop on over here. And this part is actually pretty cool. Watch this, guys. Whoa. Disappearing rocks. Disappearing rocks. It's so epic. Um, yeah, the rocks appear and disappear as you run along or something. I don't I don't get it. Oh, God. There's Giratina. There's Giratina. And right here, this might fool you. You can't actually go here. You have to go up here. And you don't have to go all the way down either. You go over here. That might fool you too, but you go back here. And this might fool you too, but you actually make the rocks disappear. And that was it. Now you step in the middle of this stone thingy. And go up to a strange site. This is actually a pretty cool part of the distortion world, as you're about to see. Yeah, I pre-did this to make sure that I don't get lost or anything. This part is pretty cool. Go down here. Yeah, the rock magically appears. And uh, now you go over here. And this is the pretty cool part. Over here. Hmm. Get down again. There's Cyrus. Dun, dun, dun. Cyrus runs away from you, of course. Because he's a pretty nerdy guy. And for some reason, uh, he has Surf. But of course, Pokemon has no logic. So, I don't know. Though he does have a Weavile. And Weaviles learn Surf, if you guys didn't know that. Weavile's do learn surf as a matter of fact. Wait. Yeah, as a matter of fact. And, of course, we have to go on the wall. And this is the part where it gets really freaky. You go on the roof, guys. Yeah. And this part was actually shown in the commercial for Pokemon Platinum, if you guys ever saw that. Where you have to scale the waterfall and everything. Yeah. This part was in the commercial. And I realize the waterfall looks a little weird. It's because of... Um, the no cash GBA 3D rendering thing. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know. You guys can see what it really looks like if you have the real Platinum. Yeah, so you go down this waterfall. Oh, gosh. Graphics. Yeah, I find it really cool that Platinum included this whole Distortion World thing. And, you know, if you guys haven't heard yet, um... Gold and Silver remakes are coming out. Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So I would really like it if they included this kind of thing in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And here's Azulf, the last um, spirit thing. They're actually Mirage Pokemon. I don't know, no one calls them that, but they actually are Mirage Pokemon. And uh, now you... Last Rock, you push it in the hole once again. And um, yeah... Then we can get back to Cynthia. Cynthia's so hot, I swear. I would marry Cynthia. Yeah, not really. <laughs> I was just kidding, guys. Seriously, though, some people are get too um, get way too freaked out about anime characters or something. They're, like, obsessed with them. So let's help out Azulf here and push the rock in this hole that he's pointing to. Indirectly, yet still pushing it. Um, pointing at it. Push it over there and down. And uh, he goes pew. Yeah. It's really epic. 
Um, I did not mean to go there, but heck, who cares? And last but not least, Mesprit. We push the rock over to that hole over there. Which he's also misdirectly pointing to. And we're done. Awesome. He also goes B. Yay. Finally, to finish up the distortion world, talk to Cynthia. And, you know, Cynthia's pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. She's better than Dawn, that's for sure. Dawn just wears way- uh, her shirt- her skirts are way too short for some reason. Cynthia's a little goth, though. Look at her, she's just so goth and emo and stuff. Yeah, I think Cynthia's seriously an emo. No homo. And here's the battle that we've all been waiting for. The epic battle against Cyrus. Garatina is definitely up ahead, but I'm probably going to cut the segment when we go face Garatina. And actually, I'll be right back as soon as they stop talking. I'm going to save. So, hold on a minute. And, um, hold on. Be right back. I'm going to save. Okay, this is the battle with Cyrus. Um, I don't know what try this is, but let's just say Cyrus is a really hard to beat mother fudger. Alright, so basically, v Houndoom isn't too hard, but his next Pokemon is Gyarados. And Gyarados is a big problem, like 10 times worse than Crasher Wake's Gyarados. So I'm just going to set up with Nasty Plot Boost and hope for a critical hit with Flamethrower. Because that's really all I can do at this point. Just hope for a critical hit. If I don't get a critical, I'm pretty much screwed. Alright, so Houndoom's Thunderfang isn't too much of a problem, and... um. Yeah, I'm going to use Flamethrower on Gyarados because, well, Flamethrower is my only special attack. Um, It's my only, not, f f yeah, th Return and Crunch are physical attacks, so they don't do as much damage as Flamethrower. And that makes me sad. Alright, and here's Gyarados, guys. Main problems are Waterfall and Earthquake. If it would use something else, I might survive, but look at how much Flamethrower does. Oh, God. Thank God I freaking beat it. Holy crap. You guys don't know. Oh, God. That makes me so happy. All right. So, basically, from now on with those nasty plot boosts, I should be able to take him down pretty easily. Oh, God. Thank God. You guys don't know how freaked out I was about this. And that is a pretty cool-looking Weavile Sprite. Not gonna lie. And how Volcanus is faster than Weavile. That is pretty epic. Oh, God, thank thank God, guys. You guys don't know how freaked out I was about this. I thought I couldn't beat that, um, Gyarados. I was, I was actually gonna quit. You guys don't know how happy I am now that I beat it. Thank God. And Houndour is level 71. Seriously, though, that Gyarados was so hard to beat. Thank God. And I didn't even need a critical. Just Nasty Plot Boost. And that was seriously, like, my 10th try, so no homo. Oh, God, guys, you guys don't know how excited I am. Wow, I was on the SOS Brigade chat box. I was all freaked out, and if you guys know, I was really freaked out. I was even thinking of, like, grinding, getting Focus Sash, and I, I don't know, a bunch of crap. Like, evolving Houndour. I, I don't know. I was just really freaked out, but thank God. And uh, this is it. Giratina, guys. I'll probably do this next episode because, well... Giratina is an epic battle, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it off this uh, right here. I'm still not sure if I'll catch Giratina. I probably won't, but you'll find out next time, guys. So, see you later as we face Giratina.